Hi guys, so this is what's for dinner. I will insert a picture of before I cut it up, but it is chicken with panini noodles. Um, I made my own Alfredo sauce with some mozzarella on top. And I got the, I didn't go exactly by the recipe off of Facebook, kind of did my own thing. And so it was like a Cajun seasoned chicken yeah, making your own Cajun sauce seasoning. I'm sorry. So I did it in the Instapot and it created its own juices. So that's why you see the juice down there. And that's okay because I wanted to use those seasonings from the Instapot. And then when the noodles dry up or the chicken dries up, if they don't eat all of this, then it'll still have some moisture. So um, also, a bag of broccoli. This was a steamable bag from Trader Joe's. You can get broccoli from anywhere. And yeah, and the chicken tenderloins from Aldi. And I end up using a whole bag. Usually when I make chicken, I use a whole bag because my people eat a lot in the house. But that's what it looks like all plated up. That's my plate. I heated it back up so it looks a little more cheesy <laughs> than right here and then Southside's little plate he doesn't have any broccoli he needs some broccoli but he's not gonna eat it y'all i need to start making some recipes and like incorporating the vegetables and the food so they won't know like in i don't know cupcakes like they use zucchini or something like that um but he does like cabbage and he does like regular salad and it's probably some other things and this is jj's it's plain jane but he may have he may fix it up himself with something i don't know mix it with something but he doesn't really care for cheese so what i did was i mixed it all up and then i separated his and i made sure i got some of that cajun because he likes spicy stuff the cajun juice and stuff and poured it over his and mixed it up but he doesn't really care for the cheese so anyway, y'all, this is what's for dinner. And um, yeah, so what are you guys having for dinner today? With this coronavirus and stuff, I'm, we just finished playing Monopoly. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a lot right now, uh, a lot. So what did you guys have for dinner? Yeah, so this is what's for dinner today. Um, I just made some baked chicken um, breast. It's still warm, but it's sit it was sitting over here so <laughs> it's not piping high i'll plate it up make it a little bit more pretty um there is some string beans i seasoned it and everything oh i didn't talk about this so this was that large family pack that aldi usually has in their store um i need to start pulling out the camera and recording it exactly but i season it really well y'all i season all of my stuff so there was like those big thick chicken breasts which i don't buy a whole lot i usually just buy the bag but let's see y'all i probably season i use some garlic salt um i'll just eat some cheetos y'all <laughs> this was on my hands um let's see i put some rosemary the complete seasoning I was like, what is it on my hand? My hands are so dry from washing my hands. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, some pepper. Um, I did use some of this everyday seasoning. And I can't think what else, y'all, I put on there. Um, probably some, yeah. Yeah, that's probably just about everything. Onion powder. Oh, also I have some of this. Okay. So that's about it. Then I cut up some celery that I had and some onions, and then I put it all on top. Then I used some cream of mushroom. I seasoned both top sides of the chicken with all of those seasoning, dry seasonings. And then I put onions and peppers all over it. And I love to put it in this pot because the chicken will like start falling apart. These chicken breasts were so large, so they can cook a little bit faster. I cook it on 375. I usually don't time it because I just kind of can look at it and tell when it's cooking. But probably I would say big as these chicken breasts were a good hour, maybe a little more. Sometimes I can overcook my stuff. I was looking to see if I had some chicken broth and I do, but I have so much stuff in my pantry. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't think I use both of them from Trader Joe's. So I was like, you know, I'll just use water and I use the cream of mushroom. You can use cream of chicken. 
and I put the lid on it and I just let it cook and it just breaks all down. So this is kind of like a fake Thanksgiving or you do this on Thanksgiving, you know, something simple and you don't have to do a whole lot. It already made its own gravy. I did put it on broil because it has like a funny looking color, which it still does, but um, funny looking color and I put it on broil on high and I just watch it. It really has so much liquid. You can't really burn it up unless you just completely forget. So the string beans, I seasoned those as well. And then the stuffing is just the Aldi stuffing that I made in the pan. So um, I can't wait to taste this. Jason already was over here messing. So it was like celery and onion. I will saute that in the pan till it caramelizes. Then I'll season that onion and celery with salt and pepper and you know, cook it for a couple of minutes. Then I add in some water. You can use chicken broth. Um, all these, some of their things can be a little bit bland, but I season everything really well. So I also will add in that water when it's cooking until it gets to a boil, the about a complete seasoning. I'll add some garlic powder. Um, I did add just a little bit of onion salt, some black pepper into that water, get it really, and then you're gonna add butter because that's according to the instructions. And then you're gonna add, this is two boxes of that stuffing and it's really, really good. Um, so when you season that water and you season the celery and onions, you don't need to really add anything else to it once it's done. So this is what is for dinner for today. I've been putting off cooking this chicken. I don't know why y'all, because I think yesterday we had, we ate out. What did we have yesterday? We had like a super, super late lunch. So we had, I think we had Zaxby's yesterday. Yeah. So I was just putting off and then the other day before we were just fending for ourselves. So anyway, this is what's for dinner. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like plated up and this is what's for dinner. So it makes its own gravy. You ready to eat? <laughs> JJ always ready to eat y'all. It makes its own gravy. You can put gravy on this, which I probably will after this because that's my favorite anything with some gravy um after i record this so it'll look more i don't know so you guys can see this stuff and more appealing so guys this is what's for dinner a little fake thanksgiving only thing is missing like something yellow something orange or something like that and if i had some yams or something i candy yams could have fixed them up right quick hi guys i had to switch over to my iphone because i didn't charge it y'all because i was looking for my charger I don't know if I left it upstairs or down here. But anyway, this is what's for dinner. These are string beans. Sorry if you hear the TV. These are string beans from Trader Joe's. They come in a steamable bag. I will see if I can find that haul, which is not too far back. I mean, the last Trader Joe's haul that I did. And what I did to make these last a little bit longer because they were fresh, they weren't frozen. I put them in the freezer. And you can microwave, microwave it, but... It's a microwavable bag. Well, it's microwavable steam, steamable bag. And yeah, so I use the onion soup mix. I use more so the onions and not all of the seasonings at the bottom. I use some. Then I use some more other Trader Joe's chicken broth. And I think I have like, I have a little bit over a half left. I do like this. I want to make a trip to Trader Joe's, but I'm just like hesitant y'all to go out far. To a whole nother town or city and go venture to their store and then they don't hardly have anything i don't know they may have some stuff but um yeah okay so i got some body complete seasoning i opened up a new one of these um let's see i put some garlic powder and some black pepper and then i did put some trader joe's everyday seasoning in on this so the chicken broth cooked up you know until it cooked all the way down into it and now i turned it off so the meatloaf was actually in the pan now i didn't record this part y'all so you're going to take like a spoon or something and usually when the ground beef a lot of you probably already know this you're going to kind of scrape it you know it has all this I don't know, phlegm, I don't know what it's called, y'all. All that stuff that cooks around it, the fat from it, and you're just gonna kinda, you know, push it to one side of the pan. Then you're going to 
You may need help if you're new, a new person draining your meatloaf, but you kind of can, you know, just tilt it into the sink and drain it. Or, um, you know, I can do it with both hands. I can hold it like that and drain it. So you don't want, once you take it out of your oven, you don't want it to sit in that grease. So I was upstairs doing something and it was still warm, but the boys, um, somebody, I think it was Trail, took it out for me. But I looked at it and I could tell that it was still needed to be cooked a little bit longer because I cut like a corner. And so I put it back in there for, because this was a large meatloaf. And normally I have a two pound or a three pound. And it, usually an hour on 350 is enough. And an hour, this was an hour and 20 minutes, y'all, on 350 for four pounds of ham, ground beef. Then they're going to have baked potatoes. And that's it, y'all. We have sour cream, cheese they can put on it. I do have chives and butter if they want to put on it. So that's what's for dinner. And I'll plate it up so you guys can see. Okay, guys. So this is what it looks like all plated up. Um, the meatloaf. Uh-oh. I guess I'm spinning it too, too fast. So this is what's for dinner today. Okay, y'all, this is what's for dinner today. Josiah and I are eating. Josiah loves when we have burgers, don't you, boo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you eat good. So, we're just having fries and burgers. And these are the cheddar and bacon burgers from Aldi. And I have mine on a brioche bun. And Sasa has his on a regular bun. And Jason's not home yet. Trail's working out. JJ's on the game. So, we're going to eat. And we're eating, not early, I guess it's regular time, but it's early for us. Cause I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day, y'all. So on mine, I just have cheese, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to do tomato and lettuce today. So that's what's for dinner. And I make the fries in the air fryer. Hi guys, so I haven't picked up the camera though. When you see this video, it's not gonna seem like that. <laughs> for what's for dinner in a minute. Um, just doing housework and then I'm tired and we'll end up maybe going somewhere or they'll end up or picking it up, I should say, or delivering it, or they will end up making their own stuff, which happens a lot. Oh, hot a lot. So this is what's for dinner today. I did lasagna rolls and this recipe is inspired. Um, Kimberly Davis, she shared her lasagna rolls um, a couple of years ago and I make them um, every once in a while. I d tweaked it, did a little bit different because sometimes I don't watch the video, um, but tweaked it a little bit and already put like the meat sauce together. And anyway, I'll see if I can find it and link it below so that you can watch it. But my family loves it. I was going to make regular lasagna, but um, I didn't have a whole lot of noodles. I just had one box of noodles, which probably would have been enough. But I just changed my mind back to lasagna rolls, which was my original thought. So, um, yeah, I did it just about the same. I put extra meat sauce. That's why it seems like it's really puffy extra meat sauce on top. I would have thought about freezing it or whatever, but I usually just like my spaghetti. And I know you guys requested that. I have to edit that video. It's like ground turkey and the hot Italian sausage. And yeah, and the lasagna rolls, it's about, I think 12 rolls, maybe 16, 12 rolls. It might be 12, I think it's 12. Um, I did use the cheese from Aldi, the Italian cheese and mozzarella, season the sauce really good, season everything real good, y'all. Just season my meat real good. And then, so I'm making a little small salad. Um, everybody is upstairs. So Jason, I think he's still on a conference call with the um, crisis place, some leadership thing that sometimes um, he goes and do, but he, haven't been, he hasn't been able to do it since the quarantine and stuff where they're helping people um, with their electric bill and they used to help us a whole lot or any type of utility bill you have and also the food bank they used to help us for many many years so now he helps out with that he's on a conference call so he's up there i don't know when he's gonna be done but yeah i'm just gonna eat by myself um Sia's probably gonna be picky but he, i'll just wait till he get his brothers um down here and then jj is playing the game trails playing the game 
size in his room playing, watching YouTube and watching trains. And I just gave him a snack. So anyway, and everybody else, I didn't put all the toppings on it because people are really finicky here. And so I love olives on mine. And usually I save these and jalapenos. I think the boys do like that on theirs. This is something new. I think I was in Walmart, the salad topping. And I remember my mom getting this when I was little. So I picked that up. They can put croutons in there if they want to. And I already cleaned the tomatoes off. Um, some of them like, some of them don't. And then I finally filled these up, y'all. And I spread some EVOO and some, what is it, red wine vinegar, vinegar in there. So, you know, if you don't want to use salad dressing, sometimes Jason doesn't. And, you know, to give the salad a little bit more taste. I didn't put a whole lot because I didn't want somebody saying, oh, it tastes different, because they will. But anyway, I'm going to spray mine a little bit more and add some salad dressing. And here's the garlic bread. And that's it, y'all. So this is what's for dinner. It's like I'll plate it up, y'all. I'm tired of washing dishes and I already have some dishes in the sink. So it's on paper plates. And they're going to wash the dishes when they finish eating. Okay, y'all. So this is what's for dinner today. Um, really simple really easy sort of kind of because i put this stuff on the grill so i didn't make a hot dog hamburgers though i thought about it but i was like no even though that would have been simple because they already pre-padded but i just got a big pack of that aldi i think i hauled it no i didn't because i did an instacart order y'all and i didn't haul it i'm sorry so these are uncured angus beef brats <laughs> i had to think i was like it's not brats and then um the hot dogs they come in that big pack for like 249 they're chicken and beef in the yellow pack and then they're also beef hot dogs that are 99 cents the jumbo so that's what this whole combination is and then when i cook them up like this even if it's a cookout or not then the boys can go back and eat, you know, for a couple of days off of them. So I have some chili. This is like two cans, a small can from Walmart and a large can from Aldi. And then I have some baked beans, the country style. They will have baked beans. I actually wanted the cucumber, onions, and tomato salad, but I don't feel like making it right now because I haven't eaten all day. I'm going to have two hot dogs. One is beef and one is the Angus brat and then some coleslaw. So I didn't have any coleslaw and some onions. So we made a quick run to food line. And food line, y'all, you know, I don't, talk, I don't talk about food line all the time because I don't go to food line all the time. Only if I need something that's really quick. It looks so clean in there because I usually go to the smaller stores like Dollar General because it's close around the corner. Food line is the next closest. But they have like a Ziploc bag over the keypad, y'all. Of course, they have the plexiglass up everywhere except Dollar General. I don't know why now I think about it. And, um, but the, everybody need to put a little Ziploc bag. All they need to put a Ziploc bag, look like it's a freezer bag over the keypad and then it's open at the bottom. And then they have like, the side is like cut so you can slide your card. And I think that was so genius. I don't know if everybody else doing it or not. So genius, they were constantly wiping down stuff. They do at Walmart and I do smell the bleach, the tallics and stuff, but I don't go in Walmart a whole lot to really notice, but it just felt clean. Everybody wasn't in my space. It was just open. Yeah. And then they had the supplies. You can wipe your own buggy. You know, Walmart's wiping down the buggies, but sometimes I like doing it myself so I know it's clean. But anyway, y'all, I had to get my coleslaw. Had to get my coleslaw to go with my hot dog because it just ain't a hot dog without coleslaw. Are you guys like that? But anyway, this is what's for dinner. Oh, but did I say? Yeah, so later I'm going to make the tomato, cucumber, and onion salad later if I want something else to eat. And that saves me a lot on WW. You know, this is not really, I don't really calculate these points, but I guess I can because I ain't really eat. Anyway, rambling y'all. Bye. Hey, y'all. So this is what we're having for dinner today. We're going to have some Hawaiian rolls, and then we're going to have some barbecue chicken wings, drumettes, and then we're having some zucchini spiral. Um, this came from Trader Joe's, and I just seasoned it, and I just added a little bit of mozzarella cheese, so it would be appealing to appealing to them. Um, I don't mind zucchini, but yeah. Um, and then some rice. This is the North Sides rice. I haven't bought this in a long time. I used to get it a lot when I was couponing a lot. I used to have coupons for this a lot, um, but 
yeah so i picked up two bags of that so hopefully i'll be able to stockpile um some of those things that i used to coupon on but i haven't been able to coupon at my local grocery store like i want to like harris teeter and i want to try Publix. but anyway y'all this is what's for dinner and i'm fixing my plate and chillaxing and they come down here and eat when they feel like it so this is what's for dinner hi guys so tonight well it's this is like a snack it still ain't a snack y'all we in here quarantining and being greedy today <laughs> so soulful tea i follow her and her video popped up of this egg salad with shrimp and then when i saw what it was baking on top i was like i have to try it i knew i had some shrimp it wouldn't take me but a minute even though it was frozen she used uncooked shrimp but i used cooked shrimp because that's all i got so i cooked that right quick put some bacon in the air fryer um gonna make this sandwich right quick all we have is hawaiian rolls so i'm making jason and i one i don't think the boys want any because they don't like a mixture that looks like potato salad or pasta salad but anyway it's like six eggs or something but i put the recipe down below but this is so good and um yeah i had to try it had shrimp eggs and bacon my favorites all together had to try Okay, y'all, this is what it looks like. It's flipped upside down, but I want my bacon on top. And this is what this one looks like. Super yummy. Jason can't wait to dig in and eat his. And this is what it's for a snack. <laughs> that late. We ate like early, early, earlier today. What was it? Taco Bell? So super early. I think it was like 3 o'clock or 2. I think it was 2 because it was like a lunch. Okay, y'all. It was for dinner.